Hello, NISGTC. Welcome to your Basecamp tutorial. Basecamp is a collaboration site that is a cloud-based application where you can manage and keep track of various projects through discussions, files, and events from beginning to end. First, you should type basecamp.com into your browser's URL window. Next, you should log in. Let me demonstrate. ITFactor at column.edu, and then you go ahead and put your password in there. Sign in. Once you have logged in, the first page that will appear is your projects page. Currently, we have two projects in our Basecamp. One to help you discover Basecamp, and the other is our NIS GTC Consortium project page. Click on it. Notice at the top right, we have 43 people who are currently on this project. If you would like, you can add others that you would like to be a part of this project as well. Also, there's a catch up link that will direct you to a page that gives you updates on past activities. Click on the catch up link. There it is. It kind of gives you a summary of everything that's been happening. The blue link to your left is where you can click to return to the main project page, NISGTC Consortium. Please see the links provided that are tools that will help you to accomplish various assignments. The discussion link, this is where you can send messages to discuss new ideas, ask questions, and or post announcements. The to-do list, this is where you can assign tasks to yourself or others. File, text documents, and date links. These are other links that can basically help you stay organized. Click on the discussion link. Give it a name. Write a few notes in the body. And also you can drag and drop files into this box here that are related to your discussion. Below you will see names of everyone or email addresses of everyone who is a part of your project. You can click on individual names if you want certain people to be a part of this project, or you can pretty much just click on everyone if you want everyone to be a part of, of your discussion. Post the message. Next, click on the to-do list. Then click on the button that says add a to-do list. This is where you can add, well, basically, let's see. This is where you can assign various tasks to a group of individuals. A calendar is provided where you can assign specific due dates. Once you've done that, you say add a to-do list. It'll be added. And here in this area, this is where you can add various tasks of which you would like to do. Call to order supplies. All right. That basically sums up the to-do list. You can use the same process for the other available links such as the text, documents, and dates. The date page leads you to create a new event. You can see there are some upcoming events and there are some past events. The past event shows some of the things from your to-do list and um, the upcoming event um, shows maybe a meeting that may be coming up and these are taken from your calendar. So what you want to do is add a new event. You can name the event, put a time of the event, maybe put a place, a date if you need to, um, would be helpful. And you can also put on there who you would like to attend the event. So you can click these names of who you would like and then add this event. 
All right, let's go back to the main NISGTC consortium page. And let's go back and click on Basecamp, which is at your top left. It's kind of this logo here. And you will see additional links that are at the very top. Projects, calendar, everything, and progress. Everyone and me. All right, the calendar page, this is where you can add certain things to your calendar. And these calendars are shared calendars. So as you can see right here, we have the consortium meeting <clears throat> on Wednesday, which is um, going on right now. So here you can add the event at a time, put any additional notes there, and you add the event. And that's it, it's added, it's been added. Okay. Then we have something, a link that says everything. This is a collection of everything from all of your projects. So you can browse in every discussion, review all open to do's, see every single file, read all text documents, and you basically can show all of the forwarded emails as well. Progress link, this shows everything that's been happening in your project. It basically gives you a day-to-day -day breakdown of everything that's been happening. When you click on the everyone tag, you can see everyone who is a part of your project. And then if you need to see others, see all 43 people. And there it is, all 43 people, everyone that is a part of our consortium. All right, and then last but not least is the me. This is basically all of your latest activities. Um, so you can kind of see those um, when you click on that link. Also, to your right, you can see where you can update your personal information. You kind of see that there. And my base camp settings. And you know, some of this stuff is uh, self-explanatory and that is where you can maybe change around some of your settings. Uh, email me whenever someone completes a to-do list I added to so those you can just customize it the way you would like so this basically concludes your base camp tutorial if you have any additional questions please feel free to email me or give me a call and um, I look forward to us using this program I think it's going to be very beneficial in what we're trying to accomplish and I look forward to working with you thank you